This is an old blue box design based on the Motorola 68 HC705 C8 chip that was used in the uh, original Hacktag Demon Dialer blue box. I was kind of frustrated because I couldn't afford a Hacktag Demon Dialer at the time, so I used the same chip and some of their schematics to kind of figure out some of the techniques they used, and I tried to replicate it in this box. It's not as feature rich as the Demon Dialer, but it has some kind of nice features in it. And uh, this one I had hooked up voltage from a bench supply to it in reverse and did quite a bit of circuit damage. So I replaced all the bad parts today and managed to get it resurrected. It's got a built-in speaker on the back, a jack for an external uh, phone speaker, earpiece like this, and uh, just a normal keypad. So some of the features, and let me plug in the plug in the external speaker just for a little better volume. So um, normally it plays in a short burst at the recommended tone timings when you first power it on. But by pressing 7 and 8 together, you can go into a continuous mode where it plays the uh, tones as long as the button is held down. Uh, you can also play 2600 to seize a trunk by pressing the star and the pound key together. And then key pulse, uh, your digits, and then start as normal. So instead of the extra button, I just used a two key sequence to um, to um, uh, simulate the use of a single button. There is a pin on the micro though that can be used for a, a single button solution, but you can also trigger 2600 by pressing that combination. And because I have the capability of detecting multiple key presses with the, the uh, keyboard scheme I used on this, uh, I can also play some kind of interesting tones by pressing various combinations. One and two, for example, play the uh, dial tone fairly low volume. Two and three, play a ring back tone. Some of those could be used for spoofing modem banks at the time for dial up modems. Uh, there were ways of spoofing callback uh, modems using some of those call progress tones. Uh, four and five, let's see, busy. And five and six is reorder. Oops. There we go. And then I have three of the set tones, four and seven together, play the um, various And these would play just prior to an announcement uh, to indicate to automatic uh, uh, traffic analysis equipment uh, the disposition of a failed call. So it wasn't really meant for human ears. One of these, though, could be put on a recording machine and played on your answering machine when a telemarketer would call, and the telemarketing auto dialer would automatically take that tone as meaning a disconnected number, and it supposedly would remove you from the um, from the list to prevent future calls that it used to work i doubt very much that that works today so uh there's also a besides mf blue box mode there's also a dtmf mode by pressing eight and zero together so we're playing the normal tones we can also play the fourth column uh, autobahn tones by holding the first and last uh, key together to play those fourth row um, fourth row tones. And that's also true actually in the MF mode. So the special ST tones that were used for routing TSPS, uh, TSPS operator calls can also be played. And those are also used for um, CCITT number five 
international calling operations. And there's one more mode, which is what I call the calibration mode. And in this mode, the basic um, single tones that I use to make up the multi-frequency tones uh, can be played. These could be used to calibrate an analog blue box. So let's see if we can. So that's uh, 700, 900, 1100. 1,300, 1,500, and 1,700, and uh, there's a 1,004 1, hertz tone that was used for uh, transmission tests back in the day. And in this mode, the star zero and pound key acts as a red box. Oops, let's try that again. So nickel, dime, and quarter, those are the coin drop tones uh, made by the um, Western Electric and uh, Bell System uh, payphones that were operated from the central office, not like the COCOTs that are um, in operation today. So we'll get back out of that. And... Uh, There we go. So that's basically it. Um, tones are very good, very good quality. They don't use PWM techniques. They use a uh, R2R ladder uh, digital to analog converter circuit made up of a network of 16 resistors that uh, act as a digital analog converter that are a little more linear and have a little bit less noise than pulse width modulated techniques. So that's the old blue box. Still works, still makes calls.